contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and castle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and castle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Silver bells and cockle shells, huh? That's odd, Mother Goose. We always planted things like squash and carrots and even pumpkins in our garden. Oh, Brother Goose, when you said pumpkins, you reminded me of a certain pumpkin eater named Peter Peter. to eat pumpkin is in pumpkin pie. Is that so, Sister Goose? Well, my friend Georgie loves pie. Georgie, Porgie, pudding and pie. Kiss the girls and made them cry. When the boys came out to play, Georgie, Porgie, is pretty good at running, but Jack is good at jumping. Jack likes to play games. But he's also a hard worker. Oh, work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Oh, play and no work makes Jack a mere toy. Come on, come on, I said. Oh, work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Oh, work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All play and no work makes Jack a mere toy. That's what I said. Oh, work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Ha! All play and no work makes Jack a mere toy. You see, Sister Goose, it is important to work some and play some. Yes, I know, Mother Goose. Speaking of work, I have spent all day looking for Lucy's pocket. Her pocket? How could she lose her pocket? Well, Lucy calls her purse her pocket. Lucy Luckett lost her pocket, Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it, only ribbon round it. Lucy Lockett lost her pocket, Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it, only ribbon round it. Remember the rhyme we used to say on the way to the market? <gasps> to, to market, to market! To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. <laughs> to market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. Here's a rhyme that's fun to say when you play with your toes. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy cried, wee, wee, wee. I'm thinking of another rhyme we can say as we pat our hands together. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. 
Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with the B. Then throw it in the oven for baby and me. Pat a cake, pat a cake, bake. A baker baking buns. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. If you have no daughters, if you have no daughters, if you have no daughters, give them to your sons. But if you have none of these little elves, you will have to eat them all yourselves. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. Buns are my favorite kind of bread. I love to eat them nice and hot with just a little butter melted on them. Bread and butter? Why, that's what little Tommy Tucker gets when he sings for his supper. Little Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. What shall we give him? White bread and butter. Little Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. What shall we give him? White bread and butter. Rhymes about food and supper make me think of a boy who liked to eat Christmas pie. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, "What a good boy am I?" Little Jack Horner. I beg to differ. You should never play with your food. That's right, Mother Goose. And I know a rhyme about some people with another disgusting habit. <laughs>